Well, good afternoon, Sister Angie. Good afternoon. Thank you for sitting with me. Thank you, Susan, for inviting me. Of course. I'm really excited to talk with you about the scripture reading today. It's one of PHS's biblical framework pieces, and there's several that sort of define our ministry and our mission. Mm -hmm. And it's Matthew 25, 34 to 41. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you? Or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in? Or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go to visit you? And the king will reply, I tell you the truth. Whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did for me. Our charism, which means our foundational way of operating, is that very thing, love of God and love of neighbor without distinction. And by that, we mean when you love the neighbor, you are loving God. And I might add that when we talk about neighbor, we're not talking just about people. We're talking about all of creation. And I think this, this passage from Scripture, I, I think you can take it a couple of ways. Mm -hmm. I think Jesus meant it in a couple of ways. And one way is to take it literally. How do you feed the poor? How yeah. do you give a drink to somebody who's thirsty or take them in when they're homeless or whatever? Mm -hmm. But I think it's also the deeper meaning. And so when I look at what we do here at Crandallet Village, um, I'm on the pastoral care team, as you know. Yes. And so one of our, our responsibilities is to visit with people who are here, mm -hmm. any place in the building, specifically in the care center and assisted living and the memory unit. And when we do that, we are, for example, giving food to the hungry because sometimes we bring a cookie and a cup of coffee, you know, and yeah. do it that way. But other times it's a deeper kind of thing. There's a hunger. And some people don't uh, recognize what that hunger is, and it's a spiritual hunger. They're, they're, they want to know more what their life has meant, that the life, that the life they lived had meaning. So they're hungry to know that. Yes. Or visiting the sick, obviously, right. we do that. So I think that the scripture passage is just so powerful. It's so foundational, really, as mm -hmm. you said, yes. for our work, even as Christians. Yes. That's a foundation for all of our work. Yeah. So to go and serve and love the Lord, mm -hmm. it, it means to do this. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And yes. a lot of people sometimes will take the scripture verse and say, well, this is about who gets into heaven and who doesn't. Oh. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And I rather see it as this is actually a guideline mm -hmm. for how to really live out our love for God mm -hmm. because we see God in the other. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Amen. And so to be able to live that out day after day after mm -hmm. day can't help but but do something to our own spiritual self. Exactly. You know, so we exactly. can't help but grow. I, so. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> and all the people said, Alleluia. <laughs> yes, they did. <laughs>